Hi everyone, day two of uh, Doodle with Karen. So, absolutely, absolutely love that. Wondering now how to extend and what to add. Don't want to spoil it. I'm kind of wondering if I could do something coming over here that extends, but not the same thing, something different. I'm actually looking at this. It's like a belt with a buckle on the end. So if I turn my book that way and I could have that as if it's coming behind from here so if I have that like that and perhaps I won't fill it in black perhaps it'll have spotty things on it like buttons so if I do that to there well, let me look this way so if I do like dark circles like the buttons or studs like that and then I need to do the buckle so maybe if I do the buckle oversized so the buckle on this one it's kind of like a it was a metal thing like a cylinder so hopefully I can do that as an oversized one coming off here um, so like that end of that belt looks like it's going down inside there how did I do so I took it down further to there like that so it looks like it's gone right inside there and then like that and have I shaded that I think I've shaded that a little bit if I just... and perhaps if I keep the dots going down there so that looks like it's inside and then the surface of that it's got like very fine ridges quite close together I may not shade that you know I may colour it in properly make it a solid black in there and then you can differentiate it properly so that that's inside so it's shadowed so it's dark if you know what I mean. Now I think my line's lost its way a little bit on the belt thing, so well that's better because I pulled it in properly. But I think I just do it a bit thicker all the way up. So I can't draw a straight line. Like that on that side and then the same on the other side and these circles that I've done perhaps need to be more precise <coughs> and more of them this one thicker as well I want to do something with that end but I'm not sure yet what so I turn on that so that's that buckle um, don't like how it just stops dead there so I wonder if it could look as if it was going behind something let's have a look um, We've got like here, like the corner of a collar, maybe, maybe, so that comes down like that, and then goes like that, 
and then that's coloured in. So that could look like it's going behind there and perhaps it could come out further over. I mean I've decided how to finish that off or do I just leave it like it's going into thin air. Let's have a look. Try and get these lines meeting up. So that that definitely needs something else going on. Um, maybe something coming out of here. There's like a a tunic bottom coming on going on there maybe I may just have actually do you know what I think offset from the middle I don't want to start where that is down there so maybe here we'll just have like that okay just to give it a bit more interest and then I need this to look as if it's coming out of here. So if I continue that down, as if that's coming out of there. Right, so thick line again. And perhaps put another one of those buckles on this end. That line is very thick. I'm going to ask you to indulge me now because this that I've got going round here, that's similar to this. I always do this. I just always, always do it. I love it and it's so easy to do. So please indulge me and let me do that down here. So, like that, just because I can, and just because I want to, because I love it. I'm not a very confident drawer, um, so doing this, I find this really easy, so it makes me feel really good about myself. So it doesn't make me think I'm Picasso, but it just makes me think. But it just makes me feel happy because I love it. And I haven't done them all the same size, that's deliberate. And I'm going to do a really big one here, I think. There. So it's made me happy, I hope that's alright with you. You know, but then it needs to. Like that. Okay. Now, this one, I need my dots for my studs. And then I need another one of them, but I won't do it as big. Um, I'll have quite a small one on this end. And that comes down like that. And that goes up like that. And then we colour that in. And I think I'll leave the doodle, maybe for now anyway. Tomorrow I'll do a bit of sewing. Tomorrow I'll do a few French knots. And then again. There. Uh, then uh, this, what am I going to put in here? We've got cross hatching or we've got lines. I think it needs a bit of cross hatching actually, but not all the way across. Just like partial cross hatching, irregular. Like that, maybe. And then. Oh, 
I think that's enough. Just a hint of that. So there, so how long is this one? I can't see the viewer. I'm getting longer every day. Ten minutes, so there. So moving it forward, a variation. What do you think? I bet you're glad I'm not here. Because otherwise you'd be getting half an hour of this. So there, right, so I'm going to turn off. Tomorrow, I will do a bit of embroidery. Don't ask me what. I haven't got a clue yet. But definitely embroidery tomorrow. Okay.